Hello everybody! Welcome to Andrea's Transformation video blog number 8, a special Christmas edition. Well, as you all have probably known, last week on Monday when I weighed, I was down 6.4 pounds. So, I am 1.5 pounds away from hitting that 100 pound goal, which is really exciting. And I'm also a pound and a half away from getting into what we call Wonderland, which means the first number of my weight will begin with a 1 for the first time in probably 17 years. So that's a very exciting and nerve-wracking prospect. What if when I get to my goal, it doesn't fix all my emotional problems? What if when I get to my goal, I'm not as com confident as I thought I would be? So it's really scary to be successful, and it's also scary when you have failures. So it's it's a real mental challenge. This journey is not just about physical challenges, and you know it's not just about victories in terms of your diet and exercise. It's also mental victories, and changing your life like this takes a lot of positivity and determination. And this is something that I never had much of before. So, you know, I guess I'm learning in the jigs and the reels of it all. And I just realized that a lot of you probably don't even know what I, what that means when you say the jigs and the reels of it all. But anyway, that's a Newfoundland expression. So, <clears throat> anyhow, this week has been a challenge to say the least. I had intended, intended, I'm sorry, I had originally intended to discuss how to continue to eat cleanly and exercise over the Christmas break. Normally, I never gain over Christmas. Typically, I don't. But it seems like this year I'm going to have a gain tomorrow when I weigh in, if I weigh in. I may just skip the weigh in because I think if I have a gain this week, it's going to be really hard emotionally to get over that one. So, um... Not because I haven't been exercising. I've broken a lot of personal bests this week for distance and speed and running and things like that. So I've been doing a lot of great exercising. It's just that I haven't been eating cleanly. And I have been having things like potato chips and nachos and red wine and chocolate. And a lot of things that are a definite no-no on my list. So I'm not sure it's because this whole year I have very few treats. And so now I feel like it's kind of a free-for-all. I really didn't anticipate it being this difficult. I mean, I've gone to several parties already where I didn't drink any alcohol, where I didn't eat any food. I just sat and drank water and enjoyed myself. So I'm really surprised at how hard this is this week. Because typically it doesn't bother me. Anyway, here's hoping that I won't do as much damage as I seem as the scales are showing right now. Anyhow, so that's what this week's blog was going to be about, how to go to a party and how to get through Christmas without gaining weight. P apparently, I I do know how to do it. It's just that I can't apparently follow it. But I'm not going to beat myself up too much because it is once a year. It's not what you do between Christmas and New Year's that defines who you are as a human. It's what you do between New Year's and Christmas. So I will keep that in mind, and I'll remember that, you know, if I do gain a pound or two and I'm a little bit further away from my 100-pound goal, then that's okay, too. I will get there. I know I will. I have no doubt in my mind that I will get there at some point. <clears throat> I do have some doubts, but you know your your words have a lot of power, so saying your goals out loud actually does improve your chances of success. Anyhow, that's another thing that's been changing with me. I was always a very negative complainer type person, so now I try to speak more positively in my everyday life, and I try to say my goals out loud, and I try to give myself positive reinforcement. Um, when it comes to things that I'm a little nervous about. Anyhow, so the other question this week one of the fans wanted to know was, how is it that when your family is eating something really bad and, and high in fat and a lot of calories, how do I just sit there and eat something healthy? For example, 
my children had pizza last week uh, from the my favorite pizza place. And I didn't have any. I had some fish and green salad and broccoli and cauliflower. And it's not easy to do that, especially when they're eating one of your all-time favorite takeout meals. But the way I get through those things is I just make sure that it's I'm eating one of my favorite healthier dishes. So that, you know, it kind of takes away some of the bad craving and you're giving yourself a little bit of a good craving. Anyhow, so that's how I deal with that. And also, I have to keep in mind that, you know, the amount of exercise that I would have to do to burn off those calories and fat is astronomical. So, you know, sometimes it's really not worth it. You have to gauge if something is worth it. And anyway, the, this video is getting a little longer than I thought it was, should be, so I hope you enjoy your Christmas. And I just wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you who like my page. Having you with me on this journey is incredible. I'm really, truly appreciative of each and every one of you. Having you, you know, post comments and like my statuses and things like that really helps me to be more accountable. And it makes me realize that I am doing this not just for myself, but for other people. So many people have come up to me and said how much I inspire and encourage them. So, you know, I'm hoping that this feeling I have is also shared and that you guys are also getting something out of it. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for sharing this with me. And thanks for sharing your journeys with me and the encouragement and the likes and all those things. Really, really appreciate it. So to each and every one of you, I hope you have a wonderful, happy, the merriest of Merry Christmases ever. And that all of your dreams will come true in 2012. And if you're not a person who celebrates Christmas, then, you know, happy holidays. All the best.